Doppler-guided hemorrhoid artery ligation procedure, also called the HAL procedure, is a recent innovative procedure that is relatively painless for the treatment of grade 1 to 2 internal hemorrhoids, particularly when bleeding is a major factor. It involves the insertion of an ultrasound Doppler probe through a proctoscope into the anal canal, and you can see here with the ultrasound probe, it is possible to determine with precision the exact location of the feeding artery that supplies blood to the hemorrhoid. This then allows for the artery to be tied off. After the artery is tied off, the proctoscope is withdrawn two centimetres, and if successfully tied off, there should be no further audible pulsation heard. The proctoscope is then rotated, and the next feeding artery located and tied off in the same manner. This is repeated until all audible arteries have been tied off. The number of arteries varies from patient to patient. Usually three to four pedicles are found, although sometimes as many as eight to ten arteries can be located. Over the next six to eight weeks, this painless procedure results in shrinkage of the hemorrhoids due to blocking off their blood supply. Some patients have larger prolapses in hemorrhoids that prolapse outside of the anus and are referred to as grade 3 hemorrhoids. And these patients usually require the recto-anal repair procedure, otherwise called the RA procedure, in addition to the HAL procedure already described. Both procedures are done under the one anaesthetic. This is a procedure where once all the arteries have been tied off in the HAL procedure, a further running suture is required for the largest prolapse in hemorrhoids. And this running suture, once placed along the full length of the hemorrhoid, is then pulled snug, resulting in the hemorrhoid being lifted back up into the upper anal canal as shown here. This causes the hemorrhoid to become much flatter and over time the resultant lack of blood supply causes ischemia which leads to some scarring in the area that actually strengthens the anal lining making it less prone to further prolapse and bleeding. Whereas the first part of the HALRA procedure is painless, the second part does result in some discomfort and simple pain relief is required in the first five days postoperatively.